guys. Oh, just the one-handed hello today. So today's video is going to be about a brand that I had... What? Today's video is going to be about a brand that I'm not really familiar with. Well, I wasn't familiar with it until a few days ago. The brand is Joe Fresh. I'm pretty sure it's a Canadian brand. I don't know if it's a Canadian brand. I shouldn't say that, but I know it's available in Canada mostly and some spots in New York City. New York City. I'm like, I have so many thoughts in my head, I can't even speak. Relax, your camel, it's okay. So these polishes, I have 16 of them to show you guys. They were sent to me by a subscriber. They weren't sent by the company, so this is not a sponsored video. All of you sponsor police that are out there, mm -mm, this ain't the video. I've swatched all of them. I am madly in love with them. And a lot of you guys on Instagram were saying that this brand is very inexpensive in Canadian grocery stores and you passed it by because you thought it was crap. It's not crap, you guys. If I had access to these polishes, I would own every single one from the brand. They're such good quality nail polishes. I was so surprised when you guys told me how inexpensive they were because I would I would think they would be like $10 nail polishes. They're really, really good quality. I am not on my game right now, you guys. It is like 11. It's almost 11 o'clock at night. I never, ever film at night. I always film in the morning or like early afternoon. But I went to the pool today, got home, did some things around the house, and I was like, I really want to film this video because I'm so excited to show these to you guys. So I slapped two pounds of makeup on my face, and here we are. We're going to film this shiz at midnight. Midnight train. What's that song? On the midnight train to Georgia. Oh, before I start, I do want to tell you guys one thing. My YWP Chats video that I put up, I was so nervous to put that video up because it was very personal for me. It it was extremely personal. It I don't know even know how to explain it, but those are the issues that I talked about in that video are big issues to me, like life-changing issues, and I was kind of afraid of how you guys would take the video, but you guys loved it and gave me the nicest comments, so I have to thank you for that. It just, like, I was reading the comments and I was bawling. One, because you guys are so nice and inspiring, but two, a lot of you guys went through the same things that I went through, and it's like I feel a connection with you guys even though we're not sitting right beside each other and I don't know you guys personally, like face-to-face -face kind of things, but I do feel like I know you guys and I I just want to thank you for that. It really meant a lot to me and yeah, I'm going to do more of those videos because I really, I really like, it was like a therapy session for me, so God only knows what's coming up in the future. What? Okay, Joe Fresh, let's get started. So I don't know the exact price of these polishes. Like I said, from what you guys told me, they're extremely inexpensive, like two, three dollars. So that's like wet and wild prices for the United States. The first one I have is Aqua. And you guys went a little crazy over this one. Oh, and when I swatched these, I did one polish on each finger. I honestly just didn't have time to do each one individually. So when you guys see the um, cutaway that I pop up, I'll try to zoom in on each nail, like depending depending on what color I'm talking about. So if it looks a little weird, just work with me. Okay, so Aqua, this one is gorgeous. Pigmentation is, this is almost a one coater. It's really pigmented. It's that just beautiful, like summer blue. If you guys like this shade of blue, I know a lot of brands do this, like Essie's in the Cabana is kind of similar. This is a good one. If you can get your hands on this, it's a really good one. This next one is Lime Juice. And this one, when I first saw this one, I was like, yes, I love that color. This one is beautiful. It's so bright and just, it just screams summer. Now this is a jelly formula. I can't remember how many coats of this I did. I'm feeling like I did three. 
and you could still see a little bit of my nail line which sometimes it bothers me with this one it didn't really bother me because the color is so bright and beautiful it it was okay but good formula really good super fun color oh yes love it this next one is coral these names the names are not very unique it's like pink lavender or coral but that's okay so this is coral this is another one I think this is the one hang on let me make sure yes this is the one that is really pigmented this one I only had to do two coats and it's so smooth it's a cream formula really good I'm gonna repeat myself as I usually do in nail polish videos these are all good there is not a bad one in the bunch some I like better than others which I'll tell you guys but they're all freaking banging knocking off my baby socks so coral I love you have to relax I really do oh, it's good 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 this next one is blueberry that name just trips me out for some reason um, this is beautiful look at this color it's like it's not a baby blue, but it's not that like royal Pacific blue. It's like right in the middle. I think it's a very unique shade of blue. And the formula is just so smooth and easy. Now the one thing I don't love about these polishes, the brush is extremely short. Like look at that. Wait, I'll do a close up. But you do not have much room from like where you're holding it to where the brush is. And the lid is kind of big and it's a little bit awkward. But you know what? For as inexpensive as I hear these are, I'm not, I'm okay. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you guys know that. This color is absolutely gorgeous. Formula is amazing. This next one is violet. This is what I have one and it's chipped. I was at the pool all day. So I'm sorry. I have a couple little chips going on. This is my favorite one out of all of them. This is my favorite one. I just love the like, it's not even a micro shimmer. It just has this something's going on it almost has that like opalness to it, but it's not a duochrome or anything like that. It's just so beautiful. The formula is, the first coat is sheer. And then the second coat, it's totally opaque. It's one of those polishes. Do you guys have some like that where you first put it on the first coat and you're like, oh my God, this is horrible. And then you go in with the second coat and it makes it totally opaque. And I'm like, okay, I, I love it now. But the color is just so pretty. It's a really vibrant violet. And it has some sort of sheen going on. Amaze. A uh, freaking maze balls. A uh, freaking. I can't even talk. The next one is lavender. If you like purple nail polish, this is it. Formula is good. It's a cream formula. Super easy, smooth, all of that stuff. The color is beautiful. I mean, you can find this color in other brands. This is not a very unique shade, but if you can get this, and my battery died. If you can get your hands on this one, I say go for it. It's perfect, but you can find this in other brands, but it's gorgeous. And these bottles are just so cute. They're just tiny and I don't know it just makes me want to like hurt somebody really badly next up we have mojito mix I think there's two like oh no it's the next one this one is amazing this one is so pigmented it's just a really pretty like baby mint green this reminds me a lot of Julie G's is it gelato in Venice this is very similar really nice formula very opaque and easy that's going to be the word of the day these polishes are just easy and i love them the next one is lagoon now this one it's pretty but can you see my face do i look like totally disgusted it's very pretty the formula is very good it's opaque it applied very nicely but there's some sort of like frost going on with this one and it's just not my favorite. I like it. I would wear it. I don't know if I would wear it as a full manicure. I don't love it that much, but 
If you're into like frosty baby mint greens, this is the one for you because the formula is on point. I just don't like that frost. I like it, but I don't love it. Oh my God, would you relax? Next up is turquoise. Pigmentation on this guy is craziness. Oh, and I marbled with these last night. I don't have any pictures to show you. I was just kind of screwing around. I swear a freaking tank just drove by. Did you hear how loud that was? I, I didn't take pictures, but I was just messing around with the different colors and mixing and matching. They marble so good. Like, a lot of you guys tell me you have issues with marbling, like with the colors kind of getting muddied together. These were so, like, they stayed by themselves. Like, if I would put the yellow in and then put a purple beside it, they didn't mesh together. There was, like, a very stark line in between them. And that looks good when you're marbling. That looks really cool once it's on your nail. For you marblers out there, you know what I'm talking about. This one marbled really well. It's intense, so opaque. And the formula is perfect. I just, I know, I'm sorry. I don't have anything bad to say. Next up is Azure. Is it Azure or Azure or I don't know, but... <laughs> See, these people just wait till I start filming to make noise. So this one, I love the color. It's another really pretty, vibrant, summery blue. And the formula on this one, I have to make sure I'm telling you guys about the right one because I like swatch these all at once. Yes, this one was very opaque. I think this was almost a one coater. A lot of the blues, like the brighter blues, were so pigmented. And it's, it's just good. I mean, it's just freaking good. This next one is Robin's Egg Blue. This is my favorite blue of the entire bunch. This is probably my second favorite. This thing is crazy freaking pigmented, you guys. It's, again, almost a one-coater, and it reminds me a lot of Essie's Bikini Sotini, which is one of my all-time favorite, like, baby blue nail polishes. So... So, so good. Okay, Canary. This is yellow. Yellow polish has a reputation for sucking. This does not suck at all, you guys. Oh my gosh. This yellow nail polish is so pigmented and not streaky. That's the thing with yellows. They're always streaky. I don't know why. This one is so creamy and when I put this on, I'm telling you guys I need a, like, Manny cam beside me when I'm trying out new nail polishes. I was in shock. This is such an amazing formula. If you're a yellow nail polish person, you have to find this one and you need to buy two bottles because it is that good. I'm telling you. It's good. I know I just got excited. Next up is Emerald. This third favorite right here. It's a very unique color. It's not a grass green. It's not a turquoise. It's not like a deep teal. It's, I guess it's like a, a lighter emerald color. It's not super deep. It has a brightness to it, which I really like. And I think this one was a jelly. Yes, this one's kind of like a crelly, a cream and a jelly. Amazing, beautiful, formulas bomb, such a fun color. I'm excited about this one. I love it. I love it. This next one is Sour Citron. This was another one that when I saw it, I was like, yes, neon. It's really pretty. It has the traditional neon formula, which is kind of it dries to a matte finish you do need like three coats of it do not need a white base we know my saying white bases are for bitches i still feel that way i just i like this one i think it's fun and it looks really good with the tan which i am rocking right now as you can see okay the last two are like pinky shades this one is mango this one is a jelly formula. Yes, I think this is a not a crelly, but a jelly. So jelly formula color is gorgeous. Like the big eyes. You know when my eyes get big, I like something. This one I am putting on my toes because it's so bright and fun. 
and pigmented pigmented okay the last one is fuchsia oh jeez <laughs> where are you going little guy this is it's just a hot pink but the formula is so nice and it's I think this one was a Crelly yeah this is not a true jelly so I love this color and I love that it does have that kind of jelly formula to it so it's a little bit like squishy if you guys don't know what I mean with jellies a jelly polish is one that you have to build up and it's kind of see-through but you can still build it up and make it nice and opaque and then it looks like it's squishy on your nail do you guys know what I mean this one has that and it's just beautiful and super fun for summer formula is good as they all are so guys that is it for my Joe fresh polish review if you can find these nail polishes I'm telling you guys get them by doubles they are so nice for the price you can't go wrong I mean they are awesome freaking quality and I haven't been this excited about a nail polish brand in a while it sucks that they're in Canada and I don't want to have to like make people send them to me don't anybody do that that's not what I'm saying um, I have to find links for us US people like I said I'll put links down below but we have to find these in the US they need to be available to US people because they are that good I don't like ordering nail polish online I like to see it in person but for these now that I know that the formula on pretty much everything they make is amazing I'm just gonna go balls so I love you guys so much thank you for watching let me know if you guys have tried this brand which one is your favorite all that good stuff and until next time I love you guys and I will see you later bye I mean just look at these blues like 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 oh my god oh wait I can't breathe Whew, I got a little worked up there my camera was suffocating so all in all Ugh, you're a pig, cow, donkey hog. There's a bug in here. <laughs> so that's going to be everything for... So, oh my god. Sometimes I want to punch my own face. With a shoe. It's just really good. What? You can't... When you don't have anything to say, you can't just make a cute face and think it's going to get you off the hook. Because it's not. But I'll let you know for sure during editing. If the face is really cute, I may just leave it in. It's just like... It's, it's right. It's just the right stuff. The right stuff. You got the right stuff. was my life. Like, I lived and breathed for Donnie Wahlberg. I still kind of do. <sighs> that man was freaking hot. My friend like Jordan, my other friend like Joe. No, Donnie, thank you very much. No Backstreet Boys, no NSYNC, nothing else but New Kids on the Block. <sighs> they were my life for like five years. I, I've seen them in concert. They're still my life. What am I saying? I've seen New Kids on the Block in concert 13 times. Do not judge me because I will make it 14 faster than you can even say the word camel. Camel. Ow. I think I just had my titty like on the camera. And you guys were probably all like, oh my god, titty! Or some of you were probably like, titty. Wait, you know what? This this video needs to comment. Oh, I forgot to take the trash out. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god, you guys, today I was out in our yard looking for praying mantises because that's what I do in my spare time. The biggest wolf spider. Do you guys have wolf spiders? They are like black and brown and they're so big. Oh my god. This one had legs, like two inches. I can't talk about it. Spiders are my thing. Like, uh, give me a, put a bat in my hair, wrap a snake around my neck. I'm cool. Put a spider near me. I will cut bitches. Like, I will murder you and then chop your limbs off and beat you, like beat your core with those limbs. <laughs> what? This is so violent. This is supposed to be a beauty. What? Oh my god. I'm done. I'm leaving. Fresh polishes. I mean, all I can say is, I wish a bitch would. <laughs>